The nine people riding on Disneyland's Space Mountain fortunately were not badly injured, but the accident Monday night aboard one of the cars did send riders to the hospital. It was moving at a, a slower rate of speed. It was on the last third of the ride and approaching the end, and it was at a low elevation, but um, it was moving, and there was an abrupt movement where there was a malfunction, and it creates, created dislodging off the rails. A German tourist was the worst off. At first, firefighters thought her foot was broken, but it turned out to be a bad sprain. Out of concern over safety problems at California amusement parks, a law was passed in the fall which requires the reporting of accidents and the inspection of rides. A study by researchers revealed that 10 people were killed on attractions between 1973 and 1996, more than any other state. These figures don't include the death of a tourist at Disneyland's Columbia sailing ship in 1998 or the teenager killed in Northern California at a water park. I think it's important that there be some outside source to look at and monitor uh, not only the operation of the ride, but the potential dangers. Santa Ana attorney Greg Patton represented a man who became paralyzed in a freak accident on Disneyland Space Mountain in 1994. That man died one and a half years later. We found out uh, through that particular case and some others that uh, most people have no idea how many people are injured on those types of rides and report those injuries. Um, typically, the injuries that are reported are done through an internal process, which is not made public. And the only way that information is available is through court order. California may have a law on the books, but implementing it is another question. Amusement park operators are in a battle with the state about how to interpret the legislation. In Anaheim, Michelle Geely, KCAL 9 News.